So, uh, if I look at these pictures here, yeah. look at the picture in the center. Yeah. It is uh, green mm -hmm. and brown. It just looks like, like nature itself. Our local woods and forests. Yeah, in green. Germany, yes. But you can see all the, the green landscape is stained with brown and black and dark colors. And uh, just uh, the other picture next to the left. It is almost, almost entirely in brown. It looks like a suffering landscape. Suffering. Big suffering. And, and just, just the other picture below, it's in black. And a little yellow. And it, it reminds me about the, the early 90s when in Iraq the oil fields were, oil fields were burning and uh, big black smoke was rising into the air, it is almost an apocalyptic scenario. What I'm thinking about when I look at these pictures. Yeah, so do you like to watch the pictures? So that's the question. Yeah, I think this, this pictures is because full of imagination. Yeah, well, it's also full of pain in your imagination. <laughs> and uh, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what the, the artist was thinking about when he did this picture, but it's just this when you look at it and, and certain images and thoughts are going on in your mind and you have your own um, ideas. I asked the uh, artist if this is a particular landscape that he has in mind or if he goes outside and actually look at the landscape in order to paint his pictures and he said this is a landscape, a landscape of, of mind, an inner picture. And this is why, why I ask Alex now, what is his inner picture when he is looking at these pictures? Just look at this picture. I, I can see, uh, I can see orange, red, and white. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, reminds me to the days yeah, I was working in a fish farm. Yeah. This orange uh, color is obviously sort of the flesh uh, of, of the salmon. Yeah. And the white one could be kind of a fungus because what happened is sometimes in a fish farm that the dead fish yeah, uh, jumped and was lying somewhere around yeah, and for quite a long time because we were all occupied with killing the other fish yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Well, Alex, can you step? Does size matter to you? <laughs> size? Yeah. Size in what respect? Uh, in general, uh, life and everything. Yeah. Your big paintings in a big room. And that's what I'm asking you. Even if some people pretend that size does not matter, I think size, in fact, does matter. <laughs> when, when does it matter? When? Example, yeah. Oh, well, there's, uh, there's a few things that I would think about where size matters and... Uh, uh, yeah, something, something not everybody thinks immediately about, like, like this maybe, normal maybe. example. I don't know what you were thinking about. <laughs> it's not the same what I was thinking. Okay, okay. So, so. And especially it has nothing to do with the pictures in here. <laughs> yeah, you say, what, what example? Um, like... I mean, if, if you shoot a big man and you shoot a small no, man, I was thinking that, that, about, is, is there a difference? I was thinking, thinking about the size, uh, size of a group. Of a what? I was thinking about the size of a group. If you just imagine you are a politician and you have a very important message to tell to, to yeah. the people, and then the size of the group you're talking to really I matters. see, I see, yeah, that's true. If there are only a few people who can really understand your idea and 
following you. That's true. Yeah. And size really matters because the more people there is, the yeah. better it is. That's true. It's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Con convinced me. Yeah. Okay. Didn't we learn a lot about size and other things like that? So visit more paintings and galleries and everything and think about questions and answers.